with just over a month until primary voting begins. Republican candidates campaigning in Iowa this weekend have focused on what they hope will be one of their most effective arguments against former President Donald Trump, the frontrunner in the race his electability. Ron DeSantis told Iowans they were worried Trump wouldn't win the general election against President Joe Biden. While voters looking to make their final choices were getting policy details from those still in the polls. Speaking to crowds across the state, Haley said chaos follows Trump and pointed to polls such as a new poll from the Wall Street Journal that showed him doing better than Trump in a hypothetical matchup against Biden. We can't have country turmoil in a world on fire, and we can't survive that chaos, Haley told the crowd at Faith and Family Forum at Dort University Sioux Center. Republicans have lost last seven of the eight popular votes cast for presidency. That's nothing to be proud of. We want to win the majority of Americans. Haley added. But only way we can do that is if we have a new generation of leaders who leave the negativity and burdens behind and look forward to challenges ahead. Speaking to reporters at the same event. DeSantis described the elections he witnessed firsthand his home state and argued that Trump was a driving force in turning out Democratic voters. It's a pattern that could be repeated next year's vote. Democrats know they have a turnout problem with Biden as the nominee because he doesn't energize anyone. He doesn't inspire anyone. What they need is negative partisanship where they can say, Trump, Trump, Trump and convince people. DeSantis said, get out. Many voters in rural western Iowa, where DeSantis has spent considerable time, said they agreed and found the arguments about Trump's electability persuasive. Just like the first time, there will be lawsuits and accusations instead of getting anything done, said Tristan Golden, a farmer from Sioux Center. And Family Forum was hosted by Republican Representative Randy Feenstra. Republican presidential candidate Florida Governor Ron DeSantis speaks to guests during a campaign rally at the Thunderdome on December 2, 2023 in Newton, Iowa. Like many voters who spoke to ABC News, Golden shrugged and sighed, saying he thought Trump would be eventual nominee of the Republican Party and worried that would hurt party's chances in 2024. I worry we might give this to Joe Biden, he said. Trump has spent far less time winning support of individual Iowans ahead of the state caucuses on Jan. 15, which will kick off Republican primary. But polls all year have shown that may not be necessary Haley remains hugely popular with the base. Even though DeSantis and other opponents argue she's not the best choice. According to 538's latest poll averages, Trump has a nearly 25-point lead in Iowa, with Haley and DeSantis a distant second, while many voters appeared resigned to the idea of an